It was a night for pros and amateurs alike at the J.P. Morgan Chase Annual Corporate Challenge. So more than 30,000 runners participated, including two football stars, the New York Giants wide receiver Victor Cruz and former Giants player Amani Toomer. I spoke with both of them, started with Victor Cruz on how he was feeling about the race. It was amazing. I mean, to see all these runners out here running and, and running for a good cause and and just being excited to run uh, the 5K. It's just a ton of people out here. 40,000 New Yorkers are here. I mean, it's just amazing to see all these people congregated in the Central Park. So how important do you think it is? You're a professional athlete. You see things differently. What about the rest of us who are just trying to keep fit and stay in? What do you think about all these just plain old New Yorkers running? Uh, it's amazing. I mean, anytime you get kids of all ages, you want them all to exercise, and that's very important. And to have these guys out here running and, and, uh, and taking care of their bodies and, be, and staying physically fit, I mean, that's what we preach to the kids, and, that's, and adults have to practice what they preach, and I think that's what you see here today. So, Victor, I have to ask you, because I cover a lot of tech on my show, okay. do you use a Nike Fitbit? Do you use any kind of wearable tech? Uh, I'm a little Nike fuel band. I have, a, I have a fuel band, and I kind of keep up with this. See how many steps I'm walking and running and calories I'm All right, running. How many are you doing stuff. today? Go ahead, tell Oh, me. man, I got around almost 500-something steps a day. Which is pretty good, I guess, if you tally in the running and all that good stuff, that, that, that also helps. 5,000. Yeah, 5,000. 5, yeah, I'm going to say you're not doing 500. 500. 500 is like my money. <laughs> all right. As far as the season, what are you expecting from the Giants? You were out most of it, so I'm mm -hmm. assuming that's why they kind of petered out. <laughs> but now that you're going to be back, you're feeling well, what do you expect from the upcoming season? Um, I expect big things. I mean, I feel like we have a good core, good nucleus of our offense back, and we're ready to to really take that next step in, in the second year of Coach McAdoo's offense. And I think as a team, I think we have that camaraderie and that teamwork that you need in order to get to that next level. Um, so hopefully we're still a ways out. We've still got training camp to continue to gel and become a team. Um, but I think we're in a good space right now. What was it like to win a Super Bowl past tense? I got to um, take you back. Yeah, it was amazing, man. I mean, to win a Super Bowl, to be from New Jersey, to grow up watching the Giants, to play for them, to score a touchdown in that game, it was just... You couldn't script it any other way. I mean, it was just, you know, I, I was at a loss for words afterwards. I couldn't speak to no one. I didn't know what to say. I just kept smiling to everyone. It's the best feeling in the world. And I know that you and Odell Beckham Jr. are preparing to do your salsa <laughs> dance in the end zone in the new season. Is that right? You guys we'll have the see. choreography down? We're working on some, so we'll see. But we, have, we haven't put the finishing touches on it yet. So we'll All right, see come on, I practice with me now. You want to yeah. dance salsa with me? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Are you going to dance, though? I'm going to try to keep up. Okay, I'll, I'll you ready? Keep, yeah, come on. All right. I need, you know All what? Right. All right, Victor, i got to be honest with you. You look good, though. You look good, though. You're, good, though. you're making funny. it happen. <laughs> You're the best. Thank you. No problem. Um, one couple, co just quick, quick, quick question. Okay. I have to ask you. Tom Brady suspended four games. Too many, too little. What do you think of it? Um, I have no opinion on it. I think the NFL decided, you know, they put their ruling down on it and they feel like he, uh, you know, didn't respect the integrity of the game and they came down with their ruling. I have no opinion whether it was too much or too less because they, we haven't seen anything like it before this. So it's, there's no real baseline to judge it off of. I think it is what it is. and and uh, he faces his, uh, his penalty. All right, Victor, for all our Jedi Knights, we ask the same question. I want you to look to the camera okay. and give us the advice that you would tell your younger self. You're still young, but go back in time and tell us what you tell your younger self. Oh man, what I would tell my younger self is to be patient. You don't have to rush these things that you want to do. They're going to come to you in time when the timing is right. Don't rush it and don't overdo it.